Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is the difference between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. If anyone asks you about the difference between two different TCP/IP networking technologies, such as LAN versus WAN, Wi-Fi versus WiMAX, or cellular versus satellite, or today's topic. The difference between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Here is a general guideline for your answer. Think of their difference at two layers of the OSI model: layer one, physical, and layer two, data link layer. Physical layer is about media, topology, and signaling format. Media refers to copper wire or fiber. Or just air. Topology is about how devices are set up physically and logically, such as rain, star, bus, star bus, or mass, and so on. Signaling format can be electric current, light, or radio waves. Layer two data link layer is about media access method, MAC address, and a data frame. All other top five layers of the OSI model, layer three to layer seven, are pretty much the same for different TCP/IP networks. Today, let's use this guideline to explain the difference between A02.3 Ethernet and A02.11 Wi-Fi. Let's start with layer one, physical layer, media or cabling. Ethernet uses UTP fiber optics or coaxial cable, while Wi-Fi transmits signals through air. Topology: the most popular Ethernet topology is Starbus, while the Wi-Fi network can be star or possibly fully meshed. Layer two, data link layer. Media access method. Ethernet uses CSMA/CD, while the Wi-Fi uses CSMA/CA. Ethernet uses layer two device switch. In wireless network, access point is a layer two bridge that connects Ethernet with Wi-Fi. Frame. Wi-Fi has three types of frames: management frames, control frame, and data frame. Management frames involve seeing wireless association and reassociation, probe, and beacon. Control frames are related to the media access and data delivery. Examples of this type of frame include RTS. CTS frames in CSMA/CA. You can find these two topics in separate videos in my wireless playlist. Data frame is responsible for carrying data between sender and receiver. Today, we only talk about Ethernet data frame and Wi-Fi data frame and their difference. Here is the Ethernet data frame. The first part is a preamble, which tells the receiver that a frame is coming and where the frame starts. Then is followed by recipient MAC address and sender's MAC address. Type tells the recipient basic type of data, such as IPv4 or IPv6. Data is whatever payload the frame carries, such as IP packet. The last part, FCS, frame check sequence, is error checking mechanism to make sure the frame is intact. MAC header includes a preamble, destination address, and a source address. Let's take a look at A02.11 Wi-Fi frame. Data frame, we can see its MAC header is much larger. The first part, frame control, holds 
information about the protocol in use, type of a frame, or type of a security used. Duration indicates how long the field transmission will take, so other devices know when the channel will be available again. Address 1 is a source or sender's MAC address. Address 2 is a transmitter's address, which refers to AP's MAC address. Address 3, receiver's address, which also refers to AP's MAC address. Then followed by a sequence control which indicates how a large packet is fragmented. Address 4 is a destination or recipient MAC address. Wi-Fi frame has much larger MAC header, which means the Wi-Fi traffic is not as efficient as Ethernet. Latest Wi-Fi standards such as AO2.11ac uses frame aggregation in order to reduce overhead. From both layer 1 and layer 2, we can see the difference between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Generally speaking, layer 1 and layer 2 determine speed, reliability, and security. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.